Okay, so we've got the Yoko Neo here, and we want to take a look at that in X-Plane 12. Well, before I do that, um, they do have this software called the VF Hub you can download for free. You see we have the Yoko Neo here, and if I hit settings on that, I can see my calibration, and you know, you want your plus to be right there in the middle. And so it is good to check this first because if this isn't right, then it's not going to work well in X-Plane. I, I wouldn't mess with any of these curves. I would make those changes in X-Plane. But if you do make changes in these curves, don't forget that you did and then start cursing X-Plane because it's not working correctly. Uh, because those changes you make in there would affect everything you fly. Microsoft Flight Sim, X-Plane, anything. So we're going to open up X-Plane, and then we're going to have a um, uncalibrated device here. You see we have the Yoko Neo, and it's not calibrated, so I'm going to hit Calibrate. This is standard, just like anything else. And by the way, this will probably eventually be fully set up. Other, you always have to do the calibration. But the buttons and the axes will probably be set up eventually once X-Plane adds this. But since this is a new product, you have to set up the buttons and axes manually, and it's we're going to do that now. It's not hard. Uh, but first, we got to calibrate all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way in, all the way out, and then I'm going to move my hat switch through the full range of motions. Once these are all blue and they look like they're you know in, in the middle and everything, we hit next, next, and here we want to leave our controls centered and finish. Now we have to assign the axes. Everything is set to none. So I just do this left and right. And look at that. You see which bar is moving when I go left and right? I don't know how anybody has trouble with this, but people have trouble with it all the time. To me, it's like the easiest thing ever. I just go left and right. I'm like, oh, I know what that is. That's roll. I just go here and choose roll. I go in and out with my yoke. I know what that is. That's pitch. See this bar moving? I just go here and I go pitch. Bam, done. Easy. Um, I'm not going to mess with the axis here on the hat switch because it's functioning over here. And I'm not going to, this is the hat switch settings, and this will work fine. So I'm not going to mess with the hat switch at all. Here we have trim up and down. So I just push the trim up, and look what button is highlighting. See that flashing every time I push up? Again, I don't know how people have trouble, but they do. You just hit edit. I'm going to go to I'm going to type the word trim in to, to trim the search down, although maybe I shouldn't use that same word. But everything that has the word trim in it shows up down here, and that was trim up, pitch trim up, I should say. I'll tell you what, I'm going to change that to pitch. Pitch. So we got pitch trim up right there. I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to pull down on this. That's pitch trim down. See the light, the, the button flashing? Hit exit, pitch trim down, just find that, pitch trim down, apply. Then I'm going to go over here, I'm going to push uh, trim right, what I call it aileron trim right, but I'm pushing to the right, and number seven here is highlighting. I hit edit, and then uh, I'm going to type in trim, I don't know if it's called aileron or roll, yeah, roll trim right, right there, hit apply. I'm going to push to the left. That's roll trim left. You see number six is flashing when I, every time I push the button. That's roll trim left. Right there. Hit apply. Now this button on the back is autopilot disconnect. When I hit that, you can see button number nine flashes every time I touch it. I'm just going to hit edit. I'm going to type in the word disconnect. Here we go. Autopilot disconnect or disconnect autopilot. Hit apply. I'm going to go over here. This is push to talk, and I'm pushing the button on the back. Every time I push it, number five flashes. Hit edit. Type in PTT, or you could type in talk or push or whatever. But contact ATC, push to talk. Hit apply. That should be everything. We're done, and we want to I'm gonna resume the previous flight. So... You can go in now and make sure that all this stuff is set up correctly. So bear with it just a moment. I'm not going to bother cutting here. We'll do it live.
All right, so we're going to be in the Cessna 172 here, the easiest thing to look at. Now I'm going to use my hat switch. I'm going to look down, and I'm going to move my pitch trim down. See my trim wheel moving? Pitch trim up, trim wheel moving. Um, obviously the hat switch works, and I don't want to see that. Um, I don't know if there's a way on the here. I don't even know that, that if this has an aileron trim, but there's no way to see it on the 172, but I know it's working. Um, the autopilot or push to talk, I should say, push to talk. You can see here that pops up and I can use my hat switch and go down here and I can request altimeter from ATC and they'll give me that information back. I can push it and hold it down and I don't know, read back transmission. Once you get in the air, there's more stuff you can choose here. Um, so that's kind of handy. You never have to take your hands off of the yoke to do that. We have, of course, the autopilot disconnect. I can't really test that on the 172. It's not really possible. Um, one thing that's that I like to set up, too, I forgot about on here, is, is the hat switch has a button right in the middle. If you push it right down in the middle, that is a button. And so let's say we're looking way over here to the left, and we want to quickly get back to our normal position like that. Well, you can, what I like to do is set this up as that kind of hot switch. So I'm going to push that button in the middle, and that's button number four. And it's called default view, I believe. Oh, I have to spell default correctly. Uh, default view right there. So I'm setting that button to be default view. Now, if I'm looking all around and I want to quickly get back to my normal position, I just push the button in the middle. and Bam, I'm right back where I want to be. I can look down here and then push it in the middle. Bam, I'm right back where I want to be. It's the same thing as hitting the W key, but I like to set it up that way. And of course, we can see that our yoke is working properly. You can, we don't have rudder pedals hooked up, so you can see that the rudder pedals are auto-coordinating with the movement of the yoke. And uh, I think that pretty much covers it. So even though it's not automatically set up in X-Plane, it's pretty doggone, doggone easy to set this up. And then eventually, you know, the X-Plane folks will have it set up to where you don't have to do all these assignments.